They did it. They finally did it. The Chargers added speed to this offense and they took Darius Davis in the fourth round. And we were all screaming at them to the point where the social media team was getting upset with us. And I think we peer pressured Tommy T into finally adding some speed into this offense. So let's get two claps for that. It only took four rounds and three days to get the guy, but you know what? We got the speed in Darius Davis, and let me tell you why I'm excited about it. Now, Darius Davis was a five-year player at TCU, and he had his best year this past season with 42 catches, 531 yards, and five tutties. He's a twitchy athlete. He's got really good quick initial burst, and he explodes downfield with his 4-3-6 speed. Yeah, that's right. 4 3 6 40 time. He's not a big receiver, but he can make guys miss after the catch. And sometimes his size actually benefits him on the field because he finds a way to squirm through tacklers or in between the blockers. I, he's pretty slippery. And to me, that just proves that size doesn't matter. Now, he played mostly in the slot, but he also lined up in the backfield sometimes. And that's where he got a lot of quick screens jet sweeps and they even handed it off to him a few times and they used him in reverses as well the reason they did so many things with him in that offense is because this is the kind of player that you just want to get the ball in his hands with some blockers and just let him work the field because if one defender takes a bad angle or, or misses a tackle darius davis has the playmaking ability to take it all the way. And with that playmaking ability, he obviously makes a pretty good punt returner and kick returner. And he may be the best return man in this class. He had five punt returns for touchdowns and one kick return for a touchdown in his career at TCU. And this past season, he was the Big 12 Conference Special Teams Player of the Year. He ranked second with 840 combined return yards and fourth with 14.9 yards per punt return. And that's a big deal. Adding 15 yards every time you have a punt return, that is winning the field position battle. And, and that's a big thing in the NFL. He has such a great natural feel with the ball in his hands. And he's a dynamic athlete. When he's running in space, he utilizes his teammates as blockers really well. He manipulates the space between him and defenders to maximize the amount of yardage that he can get. And I know that kind of sounds confusing. And if it does, then let me just say, he's got a really high football IQ as a runner. Now, I already said he's not a big wide receiver, but this guy's 5'8 and 165 pounds. A lot of you guys are probably bigger than him. So there is concern about how his body is going to hold up in the NFL. Me personally, though, I'm not too worried about it because we've seen short guys and, and like really skinny guys succeed in the NFL before. I mean, just look at Jamison Williams. And even though Darius Davis is a willing blocker, he just gets blown up while trying to block guys because of his size. But I'm not too worried about that again because you're not drafting him to block people so don't put him in position to have to make a block in order to make a play you get him with the ball in his hands that is what he does best that's why you're drafting him don't put him in position to fail now the things that he needs to work on and that he can do better are running through arm tacklers he could expand his route tree a bit as well and attacking the football in contested catch situations which I know small receivers can do. Just look at Tyreek Hill. He really attacks the ball and he comes down with contested catches. I'm not saying he's Tyreek Hill. I'm just using that as an example. A small guy can win those contested catch situations. I think it's a mindset. You got to have that tenacity, have some dog in you. Now, with all that being said, and with DeAndre Carter gone, I think this is the obvious replacement for him. Darius Davis is going to come in right away and give us some gadget guy kind of production on offense at times, but mostly he's going to be contributing as the return specialist. And nobody loves this pick more than Ryan Ficken, the Chargers special teams coach. He improved this unit so much this past year. And now you add Darius Davis, your return man specialist to this team. Woo! <laughs> He's probably saying, thank you, Tommy T. Now at this point, we're going into round five right now as I'm recording this. We have already improved all three phases of this team on offense in day one, defense in day two, and now on day three, special teams. I'm gonna make another video about the rest of these uh, day three guys all in one video. And then I'm gonna make another video about the undrafted free agents that we're inevitably going to sign. So uh, 
make sure to like and subscribe for that also if you're interested i made videos about the players that the chargers have already picked like this one right here so if you haven't seen it you can go ahead and click that okay thanks bye